Hi everyone and welcome to Net Diplom. My name is Alex and I will be walking you through the startup process so you too can enable smarter business conversations. Let's get started and you will be up and running with Net Diplom in no time. First visit app dot net to phone dot com that's app dot net to phone dot com then we can go down and select forgot password enter in the email address you provided to your onboarding specialist then we're gonna press send a link great an email has been sent you will have received an email from net to phone with the link that you're gonna need to set your password Within my email, I have received that email from net to phone so we are going to go ahead and click the reset password link, and that link is going to take you to a new page where you can create your own password. It has to be at least eight characters. And then select update password. There we have it. Now we are ready to log into our account. Let's move on to the next step. Now we're going to go ahead and add our users. First we're going to go to the left hand side of our dashboard and scroll down into the company section. Click on that button, and then it's going to take you to the company tab. The company tab has many different options. We're going to focus on the team members section so we can add our users. If you notice, my name is already listed along with my extension and my email. We're going to go ahead and add another team member. This number icon here in the red circle indicates the number of users you have left. If you are running low, you can always contact your sales representative. Let's go ahead and click add team member. So we're going to put down his name, Will Smith, and then we have the extension that's already been generated for you. You can choose a three or four digit extension. I'm going to keep it at 202 so it goes in consecutive order. Then we're going to enter his email address. And now the service address. This is important for 911 in case of emergency. You want to make sure this address matches the location of your user. If they're working remote, you can always add a new address and input that here. Now we're going to move on to the phone number. We're going to go ahead and click add new number and then we're going to choose an area code. You can choose whichever area code you would like and once you type that in it'll begin searching for number options. You can also select more if you're not happy with any of the options listed. I really like this 2977 number as it's easy to remember so I'm going to go ahead and select that and then click next and then add. There we go, it's been added. Now I'm gonna make Will a user so he's in control of his own account. If we make him an admin, then he'll be able to make changes and edits to the whole company. Right now we just want him to be able to control his own profile. So let's create him as a user. And then we're gonna click add team member. There we go, we've successfully added a team member and Will is now listed. Now we can move forward with unpackaging the phones you've received from Netophone. Go ahead and take a few moments to remove all of the items out of the box. Now that we have unboxed all of the items for our phone, it is time to put the phone together. Within the box, you will have received six different items. First, we have the phone handset. Then we have the body of the phone, the phone stand, the AC power adapter, the ethernet cable, and the phone cord, which is the spiral cord. Next, we're gonna get started on plugging in the phone. First, we're going to start with the spiral cord. This is the phone cord. The tip goes into the bottom of the phone. Make sure it snaps so it's secure. Then we're going to take the other end and plug it into the back of the phone. You want to keep on the lookout for a little phone icon. It is indicated above the plug. Next, we can insert the phone stand. The Ethernet cable also needs to be plugged into the back. Last, we have the AC power adapter. That is a circular plug and that needs to be plugged into the back as well. Once you have completed these steps, you can go ahead and plug your AC power adapter into your electrical outlet. Then you can go ahead and plug your Ethernet cable into your network jack, router switch, or wall jack. Now that you're a pro in setting up the phones, we're gonna go ahead and add these devices. Here within your dashboard, we are gonna be able to add your devices. Again, we're gonna go into the company section and scroll down to the devices section this time. 
You can see here within this devices section, we already have phones that have been listed and programmed upon delivery. If you do not have any devices listed within this section, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how this is done. First, click on Add Desk Phone, and then we're going to select the phone type. We've been shipped the VVX400 series, so we're going to select the Polycom VVX400. And then we're going to enter the MAC address. Now the MAC address is the alphabetical and numerical code listed on the bottom of your phone. It is generally on a white sticker. I've already gone ahead and written this down, so I'm going to enter it now. And then we're going to go ahead and assign it to an individual. I'm going to assign it to myself. And then we're going to simply click Add Desk Phone. Great! Our desk phone has been added successfully. You see here we have the model, the MAC address, and the person who the phone is assigned to. We can also go in and reassign a user at any time. Next, we're going to walk you through how to add phone numbers on your account. So again, within the Company tab, we're now in the Phone Number section. And if you see here, we have the phone number we added earlier on during the Team Members section. Let's go ahead and show you how to add phone numbers within the Phone Numbers tab. We're going to go up to the Add Phone Number, and if you see again, we have an icon that indicates the amount of numbers you have left. So we have 11. I'm going to click on Add Phone Number, and then we're going to search by area code. I'm going to do a 786, and after that searches for numbers, it's going to give you some options. You can always select more numbers if you do not like the options provided. But I like this 0117 number, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now if you see here, there is a little check mark with a blue circle indicating that I have selected that number. We can also go ahead and select multiple numbers. These check marks indicate that you have selected all three of these phone numbers. Right now we're just going to show you how to add one phone number. So we're going to move out of this and then select next. And then go ahead and assign it to a team member, a department, a ring group, or a welcome menu. So I'm going to go ahead with Alexandra Lasky and then I'm going to add. Great, we see here below, this is a number we recently selected and it's been assigned to Alexander Lasky. If you notice, we can click on the arrow. We are able to go in and reassign this number. You can also go here and click on the pencil icon and then change your phone number here. Now I'd like to show you how you can go in and add phone numbers in consecutive order. We are going to go ahead and click on I need consecutive numbers and let's select an area code. We are going to select 786 area code and then we're going to go ahead and do quantity of three. Now the quantity of three means that we're going to be provided three different numbers in consecutive order. Go ahead and press search. Oh great, it is provided us one below. We have this range of options between 1067 and 1069 which means the one in the middle is going to be 1068. So let's go ahead and select that, and then we're going to put press next. And now we have the option of assigning these to different departments, team members, ring groups, etc. We're going to go ahead and assign it to each member of our team, as we would like to have numbers in consecutive order for every team member. So we're going to go ahead and press add. Great, now we can scroll down and notice we have all of these numbers listed for these users that we've assigned them to. Again, we can go in and edit at any time or quickly reassign, but this is what we'd like for right now. It's fairly simple, so why don't you go ahead and give it a try by adding some numbers of your own. Then you can stay tuned for the next step. Now we're moving on to adding departments. We're gonna go into our department section, and then if you see here, I already have a marketing department listed with an extension and a team member. I'm going to show you how to add another department. We're going to click on Add Department, and then we're going to go in and add a Sales Department. Again, it has an auto extension generated here. You can have a three or four digit extension. I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 302, so it goes in consecutive order with the marketing at 301. And we're going to go ahead and select a new number. I'm going to choose one that is already unassigned. And then we're going to select the team members. I'm going to select both Sally Knight and Will Smith since they are both on the sales team. And then we're going to select Add Department. There we go. It's showing us that a department has been added. Go ahead and try this out by adding some departments of your own. Now that we've set up our login, added our team members, 
assembled our phones, added phone numbers and devices, you are well on your way to completing your Netphone account. Please click on the prompt in this video above to view more Netphone user help videos.